welcome to Homestead Boot Camp. Um, while you're watching our videos, you might notice there's a lot of noise and interruptions in the background. Um, most of our videos are taken on Sundays, and that's when my entire family is here. So there's 18 people, and it's hard to keep them all quiet as the, half of them are age 13 and under. So um, we have a very busy place, but I hope you enjoy what you see, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to learn how to dehydrate puffball mushrooms. Now I find that they like to grow around our um, drain field here. And this looks like a nice one. I like to pick them the day they pop up out of the ground so they're nice and white. How do you know that you can eat these mushrooms? I've eaten them and I didn't die. Well, how do you know that these are mushrooms that you can eat? Like, how do you know these mushrooms from another mushroom in the in your yard? Well, puffball mushrooms are the ones that turn into those uh, balls of powder, and when you squeeze them, they make a cloud of dust. Those are puffball mushrooms, and these are what they look like before they turn into the brown powdery stuff. Are they always that gigantic? No, they come in all different sizes. Here's a little tiny one. Hmm. I've seen them, you know, big, really big. The, really the only thing you're looking for is they have to be pure white inside. And what is the benefit to eating these? Well, mushrooms are said to be anti-carcinogens and just kind of overall, for overall health, or mushrooms are just good for kind of everything. I don't know what specifically are the vitamins and minerals in them, but they're just good for everything. And they taste good. We dehydrate them and save them for stews in the winter time. Sometimes throw them in an omelet. Do you ever eat them fresh? Yes, when we eat them fresh, we just, uh, I slice them up and fry them in butter and garlic. And when I wash them, I don't really scrub them. I just kind of spray them off. And gently rub them. Because they do bruise easily. And here's one that's leaking. See, that's what the inside of this one looks like. So that one is no good. You definitely don't want that one. If they're yellow or tan at all on the inside, you don't want them. Really, all you want to do is cut them open. Cut the dirty part off. And this one is a little bit brown inside. And we got cut it till we get to the pure white. And this one's pure white inside. And I like to cut them into nice sized pieces. It kind of depends on what you want inside of your stew pot. And we're just going to take and cut them into little chunks. Okay, these are some of the ones that I didn't want. You can see where that yellow right there. It's not very much, but it's just enough to make it not very pleasing. Do another one with a little bit of yellow in there. A little bit of yellow. This one has a little bit of tan and it was a little softer. If they're soft or have tan color or yellow color, those are the ones we don't want. This one was very soft. We put the nice white ones in here. They're nice and firm. We put those in there, and then we just put the lid on. We turn it on, and we'll come and check on it in a couple hours. Okay, it's been about two and a half, maybe three hours, and we're going to check our 
mushrooms and see how they feel. I like them to feel kind of airy, airy and dry, not real firm. It feels, it feels like they're all what I want. If there's some that are a little wetter, it won't matter because they equalize their moisture once they're put in the jar. So we just put them in a jar and seal them up for the winter. And I apologize for the mess on my counter, but these are the zucchini relish green beans and other things that I've done and they haven't put away yet. This is what they look like.